Yes, so like peace um, shared, um, I'm going to be doing a demonstration um, to help you um, see clearly how to do what peace just explained. Um, so right now we are going to do the first thing, which is to pray. Um, just like she said, that nothing can be accomplished without prayer. So I'm just going to be praying. And after praying, I'm going to be setting goals. So um, I'm just going to take time to pray. Um, Lord, uh, we, I thank you for this time. Thank you for the many persons who are online, who are seeking for answers and who want to know you more. Thank you for those on my contact list and those elsewhere who are actually, um, you are already working in their hearts. Lord, I ask that you lead me to these persons and you help me to be able to set um, a smart goal a realistic goal and um, a goal I'm able to reach to even as I engage people. Um, thank you, Lord, for answering my prayers for in Jesus' name. Um, so right now I would just go to my notepad. I have prayed, um, so I'm going to set a goal on my notepad. So um, uh, it is recommended that... Um, you engage two persons per month and take them through the journey. But for the purpose of this um, event, we are going to have at least 15 persons during the course of the week as we engage people so that we can gain mastery of the whole process. So I'm going to write 15 persons. I hope to engage 15 persons. Um, um, then I want to uh, build... Um, five persons um, and send all the five send all the five so this is my goal so the first thing I need to do is um, see how I can generate evangelistic contact and there are basically uh, three ways to generate evangelistic contact. The first one is to look at your contact list, to look at previous relationships. So I'm going to look at previous relationship I have already. So I'm going to go to my contact list, um, even as I prayerfully look through them. So I'm just going to say a short prayer. Lord, even as I look through my contact list, I want you to send me to people who... Um, are searching for answers at this time and are open to hear the gospel for in Jesus' name of prayer. So I'm going I'm going through my contact, I'm searching carefully um for people who need to hear about Jesus. Um so I, I want you to do the same. Just go through your contact and identify persons who you think will be open to the gospel and that you will love to engage. Um so um, just carefully look at them. It might take you 30 minutes. It might take you less. It might take you more. But just carefully and prayerfully look at all the contacts on your phone. Um, at this point, I'm going to assume, uh, based on this demonstration, that um, my session is done and I've been able to identify a few persons on my contacts. So that is the first step. Um, the second step I'm going to do is to speak to my friend, uh, Moplang, Muplan is my friend, so I'm going to send her a message to ask her for contacts. So I'm going to greet her. Good evening. Good evening, Muplan. So I hope to get a response as soon as possible from Muplan. So um, I'm just going to send the other message directly to her. Um, so... Um, the message is that I'm taking initiative. Um, I'm taking initiative to share my faith with a few friends. Could you please share the contact of a few friends you know um, from your contact list? For your contact, I can share... Um, with and inform them that I will send the message. So I just need her to identify a few persons who she thinks might be open to the gospel on her contact list and she should share them with me. 
um, and I can also engage them. So my, my aim is that she is going to inform her friends that somebody is going to contact them. So I'm expecting Mublan to send me some few contacts, you know, in addition to the earlier method I, I, I had said. So she said, sure, that would be a problem, which is very good. Um, so I'm expecting some contacts from Mublan right now. Um, so I believe she's going to send the contact. Um, so I'm just going to delay for a few seconds. Um, so when she sends those contacts, I'm going to add them and save them maybe with a tag to help me easily remember them. Then perhaps afterwards, I, okay, she just sent one to me um, so I could start the conversation with them. Um, so the final method is to search on social media. And I want to use Facebook because there's a lot of persons on it. So this is my Facebook page. I am going to search. Let's use um, 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 Kano, for instance. So I'm just going to search Kano. Let's assume we're looking for uh, people in Kano State. So I'm just going to start Kano State. Um, perhaps um, you're going to see several options, but my focus is to search Kano State. Um, so um, there are a lot of persons in Kano State. I could just click. Uh, perhaps to search for groups. It is easier for me to add people on, on, on groups. So um, this is one of the groups. Um, one of them says Kano State University of Science and Technology. Okay, this this is in Kano State, and most persons are from Kano State. So I'm just going to click on the group. It has, um, you know, it says this is Kano State University of Science and Technology group, and it has about twenty thousand members. So which is good. I could click on those members. So it's just to click on the images of several people. And yeah, I am with access to all their contacts. So I could send them a direct messenger message or add them up. So um, I could use any of that. Um, so it's, it's good. this is going to show me. So I have access to students from everywhere. Um, some of them not living exactly in Kano State, uh, a, a number of them in Kano and elsewhere. So this is how to generate contact on Facebook. Um, so the group is a very reliable method of actually being able to add them easily. So those are the three methods I'm going to demonstrate um, in this session.